All right, I'm ready to paint the uh, the hammer slammer, uh, AKA the Lizard King project. So it's already on the paint -o matic So mask up. I always transform into somebody every time I put a mask on. Luke, I am your father. Okay, so there's the paint job. I went down with yellow. It was more of like that kind of yellow and came back, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a green sheen to it, if you can see it. Now, mind you, this is all being done with Krylon paint, like literally a spray can. So right now I'm just waiting for it to dry a little bit and then it's crackle time. Should look pretty good. That right, is a nice smooth finish, you gotta admit, for a spray can. Anyway. Crackle next. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes or so and somebody's got a lawnmower going, so I hope you can hear me. Um, time to do the crackle. So let's see how it comes out. Hopefully it uh, comes out to what I think. So let's see, who will I be this time? Oh, the darkness. I was born in it, molded by it. You merely just adopted the dark. All right, so it started raining. That's uh, good news and bad news. Uh, good news is it brings down the dust. So right now would be a great time to put the clear on. Uh, bad news is that backyard right there, that's my spray booth. So I'm going to have to come up with something because this isn't good. Okay, I took a painting tarp and rigged up a tent. So we're back on. So here we go, crackle time. And by the way, just so you know, this is the crackle I'm using. Uh, it's called Montana Crackle Effect. It's supposed to be really good, so let's see. Okay, it's only been drying for a little while. I had to bring it inside, so it rained pretty bad, but you can see how the crackle came out. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty decent. Let me turn it around. That's the edges, and that's the face of it. I mean, it came out really smooth, professional looking. I mean, really nice. Once I put some lacquer on top of this thing, it's gonna look, I think it's gonna look really good. Um, I don't know if you can see the texture on it, off the light maybe, I don't know, maybe not. But uh, apparently the harder you spray this on, like if you really slam it on, you get bigger crackles. So you can see here, I didn't slam it on too hard. Over here, it was really thick. So um, that's okay. Uh, like I said, it's supposed to be like lizard skin. Lizard skin, last I saw, it was not very uniform. But all in all, I think that looks pretty nice considering what it started off as. So, uh, yeah, I think that works. So I'm gonna do the pick guard next. That's gonna be easy. All right, I just finished spraying the pick guard and it's already crackling pretty good. Uh, let me give it about a couple of hours. Uh, I really like the way this came out. Um, I don't know how I got it to actually outline the edges of everything. You see how that happened? Around the pickup holes, around the whole edge. I have no idea how that happened. So don't ask me, but I like it. It gives it a nice outline. Um, my friend did it around every single hole too. Look at that. So it's pretty cool. Um, and there you have it pick guard. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry. Uh, then I'm gonna put a nice thick nice coat of uh, clear lacquer on it. You know just to give it some protection. And that would be it. I already put some clear lacquer on this. So that's pretty nice. It came out pretty good. Nice shine. Um, I don't know if you can see, I want you to really see the texture. I mean, feeling it is different, but 
I can't touch it now because I'm waiting for the lacquer to dry, but I, I think you can actually see the, the actual texture. Can you see it? Maybe so, maybe not. Uh, when the light hits it a certain way, you actually see it. But anyway, that's, that's the Lizard King project. So uh, next, I'll uh, put it all together. Uh, that'll be a separate video. This one's long enough. I bored you enough. And um, yeah, man, I'm happy. I am happy. Uh, yeah, it's getting really crackly. I really laid it on pretty good on this one. So, all right, guys. Till next time.